This is a very risky purchase that I made. This came from the stupid eBay, so it could be who knows what kind of scam or ripoff. This is supposed to be a Stacko variable speed control, similar in concept to the Model 171 that I've shown in the past, but this is a 10 amp version, so we'll be able to connect high velocity fans and so forth with a regular 120 volt plug in apparatus. Don't like eBay, don't use it much. Find there's mostly garbage and scams on there and dishonest people. But sometimes you get a good one. Hopefully, this is a good one. Seems to be packed fairly reasonably. So far, it looks like it did in the picture. I would be very surprised if it doesn't work. These Stacko controls are very good quality. It's a bit bigger than I expected. Okay, here's the unit. I don't think that this is like a custom build thing. I think this is a model that they just sold, Stacko sold. But it looks like it's made of very basic components. Which usually indicates a good quality product. Stuff out of there first. I think we got it all. Here's the control, a variable auto transformer. It is the Stacko Energy Products Company. It does not have a model number up there. Hmm. Does not seem to have one on the bottom either, but it does have another piece of that pesky stuff in there. Well, whatever the model number is, I don't know if this is part of the model under there, maybe. I wonder if this was, maybe this part was user added and perhaps it could be, uh, you know, for different applications or something, I don't know. It's got a 10 amp fuse over here. Actually, it says 3 amp fuse. That's, uh, seems like it's less than it should be. There's a three in there. That's kind of weird. I think it should be able to be a 10 amp. Most of the stuff that I'm going to use would be probably high velocity fans. So you're looking at maybe upwards of 2.5 or so amps. So I don't think that would be a problem if it is, even if it is three, but that. Is not what it should be, I don't think. I'll try to test this carefully before I plug anything in.
Okay, that all seems reasonable. So this won't read any voltage until we probably get upwards towards 100 or so. Hmm. Well, that's not good. Unless is the uh, is the fuse blown, but then there should be no should be no power, I would think, if the fuse was blown. Well, it's got power. Is it just not giving out enough voltage? Hmm. Now let's plug in a fan and see what it does. Should be 0 to 120 and that should be uh, 120 volts is 100%. Hmm. I'll plug in this, uh, this, what's the cheapest fan, I'll plug in this fan. I got this one here, this is easily replaced if it blows up, I don't think that it will, but you never know. Switch this on to the, the low. And I'll keep the meter in the picture. Maybe it doesn't work if there's no load on it. I don't see why that would be the case, but it wouldn't be the first odd thing that goes on around here. still. But the voltage should go down as we dial this down. It is 108, 107, 105, 97. I don't know what the lowest this will read. 92, 94. It's fading out. So about 95 is the lowest this reads. Well, let's turn the fan back on and we'll tone it down. So this is exactly what I bought this for. So now we can use like a high velocity fan, for example, and tone it down and get a nice slow low out of it. And because this is voltage regulated, there's no hum that you get when you typically would use like a solid state speed control. So this is running at about 93 volts. Power factor is 0 0.95, 0 0.96. Actually, what I could do to find out how much power we're using, I could put this on the other end of the apparatus. Zero point five the amps. Now I don't think that there would be any issues with the motor overheating because even though there is less airflow there's also less voltage so there should be less heat but this is definitely a use case that we would have to observe over time to make sure that that uh, the fans are content running with this particular apparatus but this is great one of the fans I was really hoping to use with this would be the TPI 18 inch because the low on that's just way too high and this control will allow us to slow that down nicely. I mean, even this, this is moving probably about as much air as a 3733 does on low and it's a fraction of the noise. And we can really tone it down. This of course is a lot more advantageous for ceiling fans. I can't really think of any reason why you'd want to have a a portable fan running like this, but we can really slow this down. And again, I don't know why you would run it like this, but the control will do it. <laughs> That's at about 22%.
And this is why I like these controls for the ceiling fans, because you can really dial in a nice slow low. And it's completely silent. There's no hum from this control whatsoever. Wow, this is really great. Even running just that slow, I can feel this fan clear across the room. Whereas otherwise, the low speed on this thing is that. And that's just too loud for a lot of use cases. And there's very little variance in the stock speeds. That's all the difference you get prior. Which is not much. But now we can get anything. And this is more of like a low speed I would like. You know, pretty quiet but still pushing enough air to feel it 20 feet away, 15 feet away. If I was to use a high velocity fan in the living room, this is the kind of speed I'd want for a low. And now I can achieve it. Alright, that's very cool. So this works great. Perfect. I'm glad it wasn't a scam or a ripoff like it usually is from that stupid site.